Hey everyone, so I have a book review today and this is Lily Alone by Jacqueline Wilson. I'm going on a bit of a Jacqueline Wilson rampage just now. I'm buying, well I'm reading loads of her books and looking at the library for loads of her books. And this is her newest one, I hadn't actually read it. So I was quite excited to see what it's about. I'd read a few brief reviews but I didn't really pluck up as much information as I could have done to find out about it. So this focuses on a girl, believe it or not, called Lily. And she is only 11 but it turns out that she ends up looking after her brothers and sisters, her brother and sisters. She has twin brother and sister Bliss and Baxter, who are six. And then she has a younger sister Pixie, who is three. Weird names, I know. But she ends up looking after them. St 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 couldn't get my words out there. To start off, it was alright. Her mother just went out for a drink because her mother had just lost her husband, um, Pixie's father. Um, so she went out for a drink to cheer herself up. And Lily ended up looking after the kids all night. She was fine with that. But then the second night, her mother went out again, and Lily was a bit worried, you know. She, she is only 11 after all, and it's a big deal being home alone on, when you're 11 anyway. Never mind having to look after three younger children. But then her mother decides to really push her luck, I'll say that. And she decides to go on holiday. She decides to fleet off to Spain with her new man, who she'd only known for about a week at this point. She decides to go off to Spain, and... She thought that the twins' dad, Mikey, was going to come over. She had phoned him and left him a message. But Mikey was away. But Lily really doesn't like Mikey anyway. You know, he's very violent. He, he loves the twins and he loves Pixie. But he doesn't like Lily. Because, you know, she's the eldest. It's generally how it goes. So, so Lily lies to him. You know, Mikey phones up and he goes, you know, Lily, put your mother on the phone. This isn't on. She can't go away. I'm, I'm working. I'm in Glasgow. And Lily's like, I can't put her on tonight because she's busy. But I'll tell her that you can't come and that she can't go on holiday. But Lily just said that to stop Mikey from coming over. By this point, Lily's mother was already probably in Spain, or if not, on the airplane. So it, Lily didn't realise how hard it was going to be, and she ends up looking after the kids for a week, on her own. And, you know, there's also lots of problems. How are they going to pay for food? What are they going to do about school? Because Lily can go to school, but the kids will blab about the mother not being there, and they'll get taken into care. And there are loads of really challenging problems that they have to overcome. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, Jacqueline Wilson writes about real children. She doesn't write these stupid fairy stories about kids becoming world famous pop stars and things. She writes stories about real problems that real children go through. It's a sad fact, but there are children who are left on their own when their mother decides to go gallivanting somewhere else just because she wants to. And it's hard to think that there are probably children out there who have actually had to suffer this and look after their siblings for not necessarily just a week, but for forever. You know? So it's it's really hard to read in that sense knowing that real people go through this. But at the same time it's really enjoyable because it's you never know what's gonna happen next. There's so many little twists and turns which makes it really exciting. This is obviously still aimed at Jacqueline Wilson's target audience of seven to twelve, depending on reading age ability. And the writing isn't that that small, it's kinda of big. The paperback of this isn't out yet, I don't believe. Because it is only quite fresh and new. And I mean, it's, it's a fair thickness. The page is about 300, just over 300 pages. And I really did enjoy this. I read it in a couple of sittings. It is one of those that you can't put down. However, I would like to point out that it is kind of slow progressing. It took me maybe 30 pages to get into it, which is weird because normally Jacqueline Wilson books, it's bang, I love it straight away. This one took me a little bit more persistence to get through the first couple of chapters. But once you're past that, you will understand it a lot more and you will really enjoy it. Or maybe you enjoy it from the off, but, you know, I, it took me a little while to get used to it, but I'm pleased I stuck with it because I really do enjoy it. If you haven't read this, which I know a lot of you might not because I know a lot of you will wait for it for paperback, because I know not many people like hardback books, I'm not a massive fan myself, but, you know, I wanted to read this kind of sooner rather than later. But it is really, really good. Not my favourite Jacqueline Wilson book, but when is a Jacqueline Wilson book ever bad? It, it is good. Please feel free to leave comments on this or anything else. I will be reviewing in time all of the Jacqueline Wilson books, so eventually I'll have reviewed them all. She has hundreds of them, if you include the non-Nick Strat illustrated ones, but we'll get around to that. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this or anything else, and that is it for just now, so I'll see you next time. Bye!